Hi guys. It's a little spooky around here tonight. I'm hearing all kinds of noises. I'm getting a little freaked out. Did you guys hear that? I hope you guys hang out with me. And get a little freaked out with me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. You know, I love dressing up. I love October. It's been so much fun. I even went into work today, not in this costume, but in the groovy 70s costume. So I went into that. I chickened out and didn't wear the, uh, oops, sorry, I'm not dressed one. I might do that one next week though. We had a lot of uh, customers in so I did not want to offend anyone you know people I work with yeah I could offend them all day long but a customer yeah I don't want to offend them so much so maybe next week we'll see if I have the nerve to wear that one but anyway I am so enjoying sharing these videos with you and dressing up and just spending time with you guys you guys are so awesome thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it means so much to me that you guys take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me so thank you so much, everyone. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would take a second and just hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. So today we are continuing with another Wine Wednesday in Halloween costumes and just having a little bit of dinner with you, a little bit of chit chat, sharing a Halloween kind of inspired wine. Not sure if it's really a Halloween wine, but I love the label. I just had to grab it. It was so, so different. And, oh my gosh, there's not going to be too many more videos that I'm going to try to squeeze in, but I might try to get out and do some this weekend. I think we're supposed to be up to 70 this weekend. I know, isn't that crazy? We were just like 17 degrees the other morning. We had a little bit of snow. It's been cold. So I'm hoping to get outside, do some filming. If not, I'll have a backdrop behind me. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just want to kind of get on with the dinner part, part of it to get that out of the way. So a couple of weeks ago, I made that penzella soup, the Rachel Ray soup, and I just love that soup. It's a nice, rich, kind of like a spaghetti sauce. The ingredient there is you put some dried up bread, so I usually don't have bread in the house. So I brought some, a big French loaf of bread or Italian bread, whatever you want to call it. Put it in the refrigerator just to kind of dry it out a little bit. And as it was cooking, when everything got ready, I ripped up some of the bread, put it in there, made it nice and thick. Had a couple of bowls of that, and just so I didn't get bored with it, I took some of it out. I made a spaghetti sauce with that, and I had some with some spaghetti and uh, chicken breast. That was kind of, had stuff with different cheese and bacon, because bacon makes everything right in the world. Does it not, ladies? And then I took the rest of it. I split it in two and I bought some ground turkey. I made a chili out of one using that as my base. Put in the ground turkey. I bought like chili beans and I put a, some refried beans and the chili spices and things like that. Sour cream, the cheddar cheese was really, really good. The last of it took it out of the freezer and added, of course, I had that ground turkey in there already added some noodles. I added some fresh vegetables. Okay, so frozen vegetables. Yeah, because yeah, I'm that person that buys frozen vegetables. More, of course, onions and peppers, fresh garlic. I added some more chicken broth to make it more like a soup and some more spices just to kind of bring it back up to where it was. And so today I'm having pasta for pasta jule. And I took, and I had saved some of that bread, I cut it thick, and course garlic butter and some mozzarella cheese on it toasted that in the oven and I got the noodles in there and the vegetables so that is my pasta fagioli soup or pasta fagioli however you want to say it anyway looking forward to that but the wine that's why we're here because hello Nancy it's wine Wednesday people are waiting <sighs> I know 
what are you going to do with this girl, right? So this is the one. It's another Cabernet Sauvignon. But I love this label. And it's called Freak Show. Yeah, so getting a little freaky tonight with my Freak Show. So we got the strong man here. And it's like a circus theme. And I did see a couple of different bottles from them with different funny labels like this. But this one just, of course, grabbed me because of, you know, I've said before, um, when my parents were, were married, um, my dad had just, you know, was in World War II. He had got out of the service, met my mom while he was up in Boston, moved back down south with his family They when they, after they got married. And his parents and his aunt and uncle owned a traveling circus, complete with what they used to call the freak shows back then. So they did that for a few years. So I always loved hearing their stories. I saw this label, reminded me of them, reminded me of Halloween. Looking forward to trying it. I should have opened it to get it breathing, but I didn't. But anyway, let's try to open this. And yes, I hope you guys are having a fabulous, fabulous week. I know some weeks do not go fast enough. But I am looking forward to being able to get a few more videos in and costume, whether it's a repeat costume or not. You guys don't mind, do you? So anyway, freak show. But while that we're letting that breathe a little bit, I'll just show you this costume. So I have got this purple wig. I don't know if it's coming across as purple. I have no idea how I'm going to store it and keep it nice. Of course, I got my little purple hat here. Wig and that's from Amazon. I think this was Leah Sophia or something like that. It's a party that, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, one of my co-workers had a party. And I don't even know if it's there in business anymore. I've got these earrings that came from Shane. Um, Heidi Dell's ring. The other rings are all from Shane. The outfit, it's just like a tunic top. We got some skulls with some lace. Looks like there's like a vest, but it's just uh, the front of it. A little bit of elastic, nice and stretchy. Doesn't go down too long. Just a tunic, and I've got my black leggings on underneath alrighty so we did do we let this breathe enough because I can't wait I'm dying to try it I have never had any of their wines I think this was a 2020 20 uh, wine alrighty oh and I like the back of it too it's got um it looks like a circus ticket, you know, at admit one. So it's just a, a lot of detail, a lot of attention to detail in that. Alrighty. So let's take a nice sniff, see what we smell. It smells sweet. I smell cherry. Maybe strawberry. Maybe almond or hazelnut, something like that. Maybe a little chocolate. Alrighty. Cheers. And of course, wine. I smell wine. Yeah, that's what I would have said in the older days. I never really paid attention to what the smells were, but I'm trying to get a little bit used to trying to sniff and really get a sense of what I'm smelling. I'm not always right, but it is fun trying. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Happy Halloween. Yeah, I know it's not Halloween yet, but I'm so excited. Cheers. Mm. it is a nice dry wine you get the sense of the oak the tannins it dries your mouth out right away but then once it moves around in your mouth a little bit and you start to swallow it of course the acidity from the fruits kick in your mouth starts to water that dryness goes away and you're just kind of left with a nice smooth finish it's got a really nice texture uh, of course, I don't have a clear glass. I'm not really sure if this leg is in here, but it is coating my glass. It is a looks like a really nice purple shade, a dark purpley red. Mm. That is good. That is going to go really nice. It's got a little sweet aftertaste. So I'm going to say it's what I would... Oh, I got my wigs. My wig. Oh, that's, is that my wig or my dress? I don't know. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to cut it. But anyway, I did print a little bit about the freak show. 
say Michael David Joint, it says. So it says, known for taking the road less traveled, Michael David Winery has always stood apart from the crowd. Whether it be their outlandish brands and packaging or their quirky personalities, Michael and David are definitely on a stage of their own. And this wine showcases just that. The fruit from this wine comes from the original Super Freak. Is that Rick James? Was that the Super Freak? That was at the 70s or the 80s. Uh, Super, in the 80s. Super Freak himself. Michael Phillips Cabernet Sauvignon Vineyard located only a medicine balls toss away from the winery. It says it's sporting a limited edition glow in the dark label for October. This strong man is sure to bring a trick and a treat to your Halloween. I don't know if this one is a special one, so I'm going to try to see if that does glow in the dark later. And uh, alcohol, they said it's 14.5%. Um, it was aged for 10 months, 90% French oak, 20% new, and 3% American oak. And bottling date was November 9th, 2021. So anyway, that's what this one was. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun label, Cabernet Sauvignon. We've got this focuses just circus carnival type atmosphere. The ticket. I just a fun label for Halloween. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. I'm looking forward to having my pasta fajoule soap and taking this wig off so so it doesn't get in my food. Sipping on my wine and uh, getting to chat with you guys in the uh, comments and watching your videos later. So thank you guys so much for stopping in. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You've really made this October really special for me. Um, I love you guys so much. So anyway, go out everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Have fun. Enjoy life. And we will see you guys in our next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Oopsie, I'm back again. Why do I keep forgetting about the chocolate, the dessert? What the heck is wrong with me that I need to be reminded about my chocolate? So anyway, again, I've got that 31 days of Halloween that I've really been enjoying, enjoying, though I'm only on box 11 or 11. Do I have this upright? No, I do not. So I think we are on treat number 11. So let's see if I can do this without making a mess here. It's right on top. So let's see if we can pull this out. <gasps> I've never had these this kind before. This is different for candy, but let me put this down so I don't rock the camera. And you know what we got? We got Tic Tacs. And it's orange flavored Tic Tacs. Which for me, these are going to come in handy because, you know, I love my garlic. I love onions. I love peppers and tons of garlic in my sauce. So, these are going to come in handy next time I go to work anyway. So, anyway, thank you guys again. And we will see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.